Okay, we're back. You've got Richard Duncan on KCBQ 1170. Well, today I happen to be with Dr. Michael Pritzker. Well, first of all, I want to say top of the day to you. How are you, doctor? I'm doing pretty good. How are you, Richard? Oh, I'm doing okay. I guess, you know, when you get to my age, when you see the ceiling in the morning, I guess you're going to be a happy camper the rest of the day. But I guess guys like you don't have to worry about it. Nah, not, not really. I just wake up and go on with my day. I'm doing pretty good. Oh, you got a positive mental attitude. What can I say? Well, hey, come on. I got a lot of questions for you. We only got 10 minutes to do this. So let, let's, let's, get off, let's, let's get out the gate by asking, uh, why do so many people these days suffer from back pain and injuries? Well, primarily, if you look at the type of posture that most people have these days, what are you doing most of the day? You're sitting, you're in front of a computer, a lot of people just couch potatoes. So instead of leading the active lifestyles that we used to lead so many years ago, today most of the time we're just sitting and we're not very active. So you would think most people would get injuries from the typical sporting activities or weightlifting or some of the things that, that would seem typical. And the reality is most people these days suffer from spinal degeneration, sciatica, disc herniations, and they all come from, in, in most cases, they just come from just having poor posture, sitting most of the day, being inactive, and what that all leads to, it leads to weak muscles in the back. And over time, those muscles weaken, and you lose that protection in the spine, and that eventually just leads to degenerative arthritis and back pain. So that's the main reason. You know what really amazes me is the technology that you guys are in. I mean, uh, tech, you know, I, I, my wife goes to a chiropractor, and you know, she gets a lot of help from one. And, uh, but what, what amazes me most, because I do these interviews, I get a chance to see some of the machinery and I see some of the technology being used. And I know you guys like light years ahead of the stuff that people see, uh, you know, from day to day, you've got the greatest equipment. So tell me, has, has, give, has it really given you guys the edge? Yeah, these days, I mean, technology is getting so advanced, and what's great about the emerging technologies is that there's so much research going now into non-invasive therapies, where in the past, most individuals, when they're suffering from back pain or a disc herniation, their treatment options are very limited. They were limited to just getting either surgery or pain medication or just learning to live with the pain. These days, the technologies are so advanced, and one of the greatest technologies that's really emerged uh, across the scene and has been really revolutionary is known as ABS spinal decompression. And with spinal decompression, you're able to take an individual who has a herniated disc where in most cases they'd be recommended surgery. And these days they can have this non-invasive treatment with very little downtime recovery and, uh, and the results are phenomenal. You know what amazes me too, doctor, is the fact that how we all seem to procrastinate. I mean, you know, a small pain leads to the bigger pain and then before you know it, you're kind of disabled before they end up in your office. Uh, when should people, when, when should they really come to the doctor? Uh, at what point? Well, obviously, I mean, a small injury, if left untreated, eventually can lead to a big problem. But, but here's the key. If you're experiencing some back pain and it's a minor back pain, obviously sometimes rest, some heat on the back, sometimes ice right after an injury will alleviate the symptoms. Sometimes even just taking an aspirin can eliminate those symptoms. But let's say you've had this condition for several months and three months down the road, six months down the road, either you're still experiencing this condition or the condition is getting worse, or you start experiencing other things like leg pain, weakness, numbness, all these other factors start, start to set in. And if you're 30 or 40 years of age and you're feeling like you're 60, you're not able to lift your kids, you're not able to go to the gym, and you find that it's starting to affect your life, that's really when you, when you should consider going to see a doctor and making sure that you see someone who specializes in treating these types of conditions. So as soon as it starts affecting your life, where you're not able to do the things that you're normally able to do. And you, you know what I love about your practice, you know, is, is the fact that you have relationships with people. Because you do, you establish those things over time, and you get to know your patient. But, but for a newbie, you know, when, when, when does a person, how does a person go about selecting a doctor? Well, they need to go to somebody who's going to specialize in their condition. If all you do is just look for a doctor when you go to them, and all they're going to do is just look at you like uh, if you're experiencing low back pain, all they do is examine your low back, then you might want to consider going to a different doctor. You need to find someone who specializes in your condition, somebody who has treated at least thousands of patients with your type of symptoms. If you're experiencing back pain, go to someone who treats back pain. If you're experiencing leg pain, go to someone who treats leg pain. Now, if you're not considering surgery, then you shouldn't be looking at your first option of surgery because if you go to a surgeon, well, there's the saying that if all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. If you're going to a surgeon, they're going to tell you if they can do surgery on you. So if you're looking for a non-invasive therapy for back pain, you're going to have to go to a doctor who offers non-invasive treatment, such as spinal decompression therapy, because that's going to be the therapy of choice for somebody who's suffering from back pain. So if you want non-invasive surgery, non-invasive treatment, go to someone who specializes in non-invasive treatments such as spinal decompression or even chiropractic care if all you have is a misalignment or some sciatica. So do your research, go online, ask around, get a referral. Uh, you really got to do your due diligence and do your research. It's very, very important. It's your health that you're taking into your own hands. 
You know, you're making me jealous. You've got an incredible energy level. I don't know what it is you drink in the morning, but I like to have some of that stuff. But anyway, for most folks that are listening to the show, okay, what is ABS spinal decompression therapy? Uh, make some sense of that, okay? Well, first of all, ABS stands for a better solution. And spinal decompression, if you look at somebody who's had a back injury, what happens is more often than not, their disc will either degenerate or it will herniate. And what happens is those discs are the shock absorbers in your spine. So if those discs will herniate or they bulge out almost like a jelly donut that's been squished, then what happens is it will start to put pressure on the nerves in the spine. What spinal decompression does, it unsquishes that squished jelly donut. So what it'll do is it'll make that disc space bigger and it'll take the pressure off of the nerve and it uses an advanced computerized system. It is not painful. It is non-invasive. They start to get results very, very quickly and uh, the results are phenomenal with an over 86% success rate in people suffering from back pain due to a herniated or bulging disc in their back. Okay, now is the ABS therapy an alternative for, uh, for people who've been told that they must undergo back surgery? Well, first of all, you've got to ask yourself, who told you that you have to undergo surgery? Uh, if all you've done is go to a surgeon and they said, well, go get surgery, well, you might want to consider getting a second opinion for somebody who does not do surgery. So, no, it is not an alternative to surgery. A lot of times this is the first choice before doing surgery because, remember, surgery is very, very serious. Once somebody has cut into your back then uh, it's very, very difficult to, to go around and try to fix it afterwards. So this is something that you should be doing before surgery. The success rate is very good, even more successful than surgery. So if you're experiencing back pain, if you're getting numbness in your leg, uh, this is something that you should be trying before surgery. And if this works, then obviously surgery you're not going to want to do. But surgery, last resort. Okay, Dr. Prisker, we're almost running, almost running out of time here. Uh, I have a final question for you. How can people get more information about ABS decompression therapy? And also, I'd like you, to, after you answer that question, let me have uh, your address and phone number and maybe some quick directions on how to get to your clinic. They can request a free video on spinal decompression therapy. The number is 888-867-4951. It's a toll-free 24-hour recorded message hotline for spinal decompression therapy. And they can call that number or they can actually go to backcarecentral.com. That's www.backcarecentral.com backcarecentral.com that can actually watch the video online as far as our clinic if you want to find out some more information uh, you can call us at 619-858-0336 and we're located in Mission Valley you can also get more of that information at backcarecentral.com okay super boy great interview glad I had time to uh, uh, you know but you took the time out to do this interview so I'm glad I'm here but anyway I guess doctor I guess we'll catch you on the go around because we're just plumb out of time yeah. hey thanks a lot I had a great time Okay, great. Okay, folks, check him out. Again, Dr. Michael Pritzker, and I'll spell that for you. It's P-R-I-T-S-K-E-R, -E Pritzker. And uh, anyway, give them a call. Again, the phone number is 619-858-0336. Okay, we're going to go to a quick commercial break and uh, be back in a pinch, so stay tuned.